Hello viewers, I'm Beatrice Christopher from Statistics Scribe. God's willing in this tutorial, I'm going to explain the IBM SPSS Statistics Viewer window. Quickly, on the menu bar, we have options such as File, Edit, View, Data, Transform, Insert, Format, Analyze, Graphs, Utilities, Extensions, Window, Help. And on the title bar, we have Output 1, Document 1. So, because our output is here to be saved, so let's say we save it as Statistics Scribe. So, Statistics Scribe will replace Output 1, okay? And on the standard toolbar, we have options such as Open Output Document, Save This Document, Print, Preview Print This Data Set, Export, Recall Recently Used Dialogues, undo a user action redo a user action go to data go to case go to variable variables create slash edit auto script run script designate window customize toolbars so under customize window here i can actually add the viewer outline also so we have other options under the viewer outline such as promote demote expand selected outline items collapse selected outline items show selected items hide selected items insert heading new title and new text okay so the IBM SPSS Statistics Viewer window, also known as Output Viewer window, is divided into two sections or frames or panes or even panels. Panel on the left here is called the Outline Panel or Pane and the one to the right is called the Output Display Panel or Pane. Okay, so remember when you perform any command in IBM SPSS statistics the IBM SPSS statistics viewer window opens automatically and display a log of actions taken and the associated output primarily the IBM SPSS statistics viewer window is where the results of the statistical analysis are shown but any command invoked through the drop down menus or syntax will be printed to the output viewer this includes opening, closing, or saving a data file, or even splitting a data set. So many things. Note, if an IBM SPSS statistics viewer window is not open when a command is run, a new IBM SPSS statistics viewer window will automatically be created. Okay? So to understand how each of this panel or pane operates or functions, let's quickly go through a sample output file from the IBM SPSS statistics. Let's begin. As you can see from this sample output file, which is named MS Outstute okay? .spv, that's the file extension for an output file. So we have two panes or panels like I previously said, the outline pane or panel and the output display pane or panel. This gives us the full view of our data. That is the analyzed data, which is the outputs or the results. Okay. So going to the outline pane, the first line bears the word output as you can see here and we have a downward arrow here so if you're using a pc or a late version of mac you're going to see a negative sign here a minus sign which means you can collapse it so minus means collapse or downward arrow here means collapse while plus means expand or rightward arrow that's arrow to the right means expand okay so here i'm going to collapse it this is a downward arrow or if you're using the one with a negative sign it means 
collapse so I am collapsing it as you can see it's heating so as you can see it is heating here because it's collapsed right so I want to expand it you see here if you want to expand you click on this rightward arrow or the arrow to the right here if you're using PC or previous versions of IBM SPSS statistics on Mac you click on the plus sign to expand okay okay if you're using pc or late max so all you need to do is just scroll or go up and click on the negative sign it will collapse if you click on the plus sign it expands click on the negative sign it collapse click on the negative sign it collapse click on the negative sign it collapse once you click on the plus sign it expands you click on the plus sign it expands click on the plus sign it expands as simple as that okay the folders that become hidden when you click on this downward arrow or negative sign as your case might be are called subfolders so let me quickly click on this so that you see it so you see they are hidden so the subfolder here this is subfolder frequencies is a subfolder of outputs okay so frequencies is a subfolder of output hope you understand this right under this subfolder called frequencies we have other subfolders under it called titles notes active data sets statistics frequency table title gender income all these subfolders under the frequency subfolder to the output are called fields okay we call them fields i hope you understand this so by implication graph is a subfolder of outputs report is a subfolder of outputs title notes active data set bar of counts by in cart are all fields in graph then title here notes active data set text output are all fields in report okay so this outline pane or panel is especially useful when you have run many ibm spss statistics commands and need to locate a particular section of output easily so let's say i want to quickly go to the title so here maybe title of this frequency so i can just click on it to quickly navigate as you can see so the title is called frequencies maybe i want to navigate to gender here i click this is showing gender or you want to navigate to bar of counts by in cart see it's navigating okay the right panel here actually contains the actual output so whenever you click on an item in the left pane here it will display or jump or show you the content in the right panel or pane okay which is called the output panel so clicking on any item here on the outline pane will definitely show you its content in the output pane or panel so just like we did previously once i click on statistics here on the outline pane you see it's showing me where it is displayed once i click on maybe bar of counts on the outline pane here on the display output pane it's showing me or if you want you can just click on it directly on the output pane so you can see it's clicking but here it's more faster maybe you have lots of logs here okay so you can just quickly navigate text output you want to edit this you can do that okay it will interest you to also know that you can actually modify charts table and texts okay so like i said in the previous videos we have more windows under the ibm sps statistics viewer windows windows such as pivot table editor window chart editor window and text output window so quickly i'm just going to show you how they look like and maybe some basic things about them i think in subsequent videos i'm going to create more videos to shed more light on them okay so i'm going to show you the pivot table editor window so to 
activate the window you double click on any of these tables that's here as you can see here or you right click you click on it and right click on it then click on edit content then but i prefer to edit mine in a separate window you can actually edit it in viewer window okay so i'll click on in separate window so as you can see it's showing me here i have my formatting toolbar here so let's see here i want to change the color of this gender maybe to let's say blue or whatever you click on it you see it's obvious here gender is showing a blue color you can actually edit the text you can see gender maybe i want to edit it gender in brackets maybe i want to call it sex whatever it is so next thing is you can actually edit the content you can change the font here as you can see you can increase the font size you can change it to font style you can bold it i'm bolding this frequency as you can see it's bolded you can underline or italize so i'm going to italize this number 3179 it's italized as you can see i want to underline 49.7 so you can see it's on the line there are a whole lots of things you can do you can justify align it here your left alignment your center alignment then you have your right alignment okay so you can actually plot a chart or create a graph here also okay so there are a whole lots of things you can do here you can undo and redo okay you can actually pivot controls okay so there are a whole lots of things you can do here and I want you to observe here, our menu bar has changed to File, Edit, View, Insert, Pivot, Format, and Help because we are on Pivot Table Editor window, okay? So, as you can see, going to the next thing, the next we have is called the Chart Editor window, and this is used for modifying the contents of a chart. So, for example, we have a bar chart here, as you can see. The same way so this time around in place of right clicking i'm going to double click okay so i'm going to double click on it so i'll show you different ways so i've double clicked since you can see it's showing me the chart editor so you can do whole lots of things here there are lots of functions here you can do so kindly check on our videos on each of this window i'll try as much as possible to make more videos for you to understand that but quickly i just want to show you uh how to reflect all these values here on the bars okay for example under 25 dollars the actual value here it's somehow complicated or difficult to read because we know it lies between 1000 to 1500 so to get the exact value here you can just right click on it there are many options anyway when you come to show data labels you click on it See, it's showing us the actual value for under $25 is 1174 So if you want to show the percentages, you can actually click on it here and move it to the top. Can you see it here? You can move to the top, you move variables to the contents. So that means we are moving from not displayed box to label displayed. So you can either move it this way, see it's moved, or let me bring it back. Or you can click and drag okay so you can see then you click on apply the percentages will pop up you see it's showing me under 25 dollars we have 1174 counts constituting 18.34 percent okay so there are a whole lots of things you can save it once you close it's going to reflect you see it here you can edit the title of the graph whole lots of things and i'll show you that in a short while okay lest i forget i want you to also observe the menu bar also here as you can see the menu bar has changed relative to this window we have options such as file we have edit we have view we have options we have elements we have help okay so the menu bar changes relative to each window okay so the next window we'll be going to is called the text output window so quickly i'm going to go to any text in a document so i have a text here as you can see so i'm clicking on this text output which is here double click you see it has also changed the menu bar as you can see here we have file we have edit we have view we have insert format analyze graphs utilities window help so here you can actually write edit it here 
so let's assume this income i want to bold it we can bold it here as you can see it's bolded maybe the mean this levels whatever it is maybe under these categories you want to underline change the color whatever it is you want to do is possible changing the color of the text add text to it maybe income of staffs income of staff as you can see it's everything is possible okay so you can do a whole lots of things with this there are you can change the font style you can change the font size you can bold it undo redo so many functions okay notes i want you to take note of something like i said previously I made mention of the fact that the IBM SPSS statistics viewer window is where the results of statistical analysis are shown, right? And I said that any command invoked through the drop down menus or syntax will be printed to the output viewer, right? So, as you can see here, this is a demo file here. That's why you didn't see the, the commands here that were run. So, quickly, I'm going to run an analysis using the drop down menus, okay? So, you'd see how it pops up so quickly i'm going to use the, uh, my score saved file so i'm going to run my analysis so using pull down i'm coming or drop down menu you come to analyze descriptive so let's say i want to run a frequency run frequencies then scores you can either double click on it to go and the statistic i need i just need the mean maybe mean and standard deviation and standard error of the mean let's say so Click on it. Possibly, let's say I need a chart this time around. I need a pie chart showing percentages. So click OK. Continue. Then I'm gonna click OK. So just take note. Observe this. As you can see, look, it's telling me that this is what I've done. This is the file. It extracted the file from users. So slash scores.sav the file name. And uh, this is the command that was run frequencies the variable scores statistics standard deviation standard error of mean mean pie chart percentage and the other of the analysis so as you can see this is just what i want you to see it's showing you what we've done and what we've performed and the commands we've run okay so this is just the output like any other okay you can do your editing whichever way you want to do it you can do the same thing we did to that scores percentage so if you need the scores you can push it up to show so you can use it it's the same thanks for working peace out